Hey, you James. Uh, hey, everyone. Church of SDFU. <laughs> I've been watching, so I watched your latest video on ideology, and I'd, I've watched, I think, all of the other ones you did on ideology, but it was a while ago, um, since you've been making quite a few videos about ideology over time. So, uh, you know, I hope that I accurately represent what you were saying in those videos, and I hope that I'm not misunderstanding you. If I am, then please correct me. To start off with, I mean, I think there's certainly a sense in which I completely agree with you, because in your videos, uh, I remember that you kind of define ideology as this dogmatic, one-size-fits-all approach to fixing the world. And then you make the argument, I think, uh, very reasonably, that anyone who tries this is bound to fail and cause misery and suffering, because... Uh, first of all, your set of ideas isn't going to actually be um, perfect and needs. If, if you think it is, then that's going to be dangerous. And second of all, there's no such thing as a one-size-fits-all approach. And then if people are convinced that they have the truth, then, then they will be willing to commit violence um, for that truth if they believe it's the absolute truth. And then we get into the trouble that we've gotten into in the examples you mentioned, like, um, you know, like... Nazism or 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 the various uh, religious inspired conflicts or the communist purges and so on and so forth. So far, you know, I I agree with you on that completely. But it seems to me like, and you know, if if I'm misunderstanding you, let me know. It seems to me like sometimes in the way that you talk about ideology. <laughs> The concept seems to grow more to include any set of ideas or thoughts about how society should be run um, so that anyone who uh, pr thinks that they have a suggestion for improvement that could be tried, like, say, someone who happens to have socialist beliefs and who believes that socialism could address problems in the society or someone that has capitalist beliefs that believes that a freer market could address problems in society and so on and so forth that you know it sounds to me like you seem to be suggesting that just because that person believes that they have something to help improve society that that is automatically a bad thing and that we shouldn't really impose it all with our ideas on society because that's risky and not going to work. If that is your opinion, then you know I I would have I my feeling is that society always has a a set of ideas that basically form the societal ideology, the dominant ideology of the day. I mean today, it is uh, kind of liberal democracy and free market capitalism in the West, and that is very much an ideology it's kind of the 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 ideology on which society is based and it's the ideology that society runs on now uh, whether you like it or not that seems to me like that's how the world operates and then this set of ideas if it's not a perfect set of ideas which no set of ideas is i will agree with you um, if it's not perfect then it's going to produce worse outcomes than a whatever a better set of ideas or a more refined set of ideas. So that's where someone with a different set of ideas will come in that thinks that their ideas might be able to better run a society and they don't necessarily have to have uh, ideas about how to change everything. It might just be something really small, but you could, I guess, term that an ideological difference. And then they would you know, they would approach the situation, try to change something, um, and they, if if they are not dogmatic about it, then they would concede if it doesn't work that it's not working, and they would change their ideas. I'm not going to call it an ideology, but they would change their ideas and try something else. Um, and I guess my question is: Is that something which? you would condemn as someone holding an ideology which is dangerous. So if I refer to myself, you know, um, being convinced of, at the moment, uh, barring further evidence that it doesn't work, of some set of ideas, 
and wanting to see them implemented on some scale, not necessarily worldwide, but just on some scale to see whether they would work, wouldn't that be a good thing? And I mean, to me, you just um, it just sounds a bit like you're throwing throwing away the the baby with with the bathwater in a sense that you I mean it comes across to me like you're really dismissing the idea of 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 change through new ideas and dismissing the idea that people might have certain ideas that they would want to influence society with you know if if your definition of ideology is just people who hold those ideas dogmatically and uh, and think that they're absolute in some sense, then I, I, I agree with you wholeheartedly. But if you consider anyone an ideologist who has a set of ideas that they think is, uh, you know, that they're currently uh, reasonably sure might make things better and that they, you know, kind of want to implement, if you would consider those people ideologists who need to be stopped, then I guess I would disagree with that. And, you know, that kind of goes for the video you show, I guess, of pos probably anarchist protesters uh, throwing the Molotov cocktails at, at, at police. I, I don't know what protest that exactly was. So obviously any, just because, of, because people who have a set of ideas is going to be some extremists, that doesn't necessarily mean that you can just dismiss the ideas outright and just stay you know you just end up don't you just end up staying with the status quo in that case and i mean you know it would be nice if we could just let everyone individually decide but that's not how it works there will be a dominant set of ideas uh, in society so uh, to me if you're going to suggest people don't have ideologies and don't um, believe in anything like that except perhaps personally in their everyday behavior then wouldn't that just mean removing yourself from a dialogue and not contributing at all in a real sense? Um, and yeah, I mean, again, so there's always going to be a certain level of conflict. And obviously, the ruling set of ideas, one can say, is causing damage. It always will, because it's never going to be the perfect set of ideas. So if the ruling set of ideas is causing harm and damage, then just saying that an alternate set of ideas would cause harm and damage and there would be some extremists that would pursue it isn't enough to say that we shouldn't hold those alternate ideas or try to uh, have them implemented in some way. And again, I mean, I might just be mis misreading how widely you would apply the concept of ideology. But it does seem to me like it's a good thing to have your own views, to have your own well-informed, as well-informed as possible, opinions on how we could better the world and better manage the world and interactions and society as long as one is open-minded, willing to uh, look at evidence and willing to accept that one's ideas are not divine or holy. Um, and it may be that that's, you know, that that is what you define ideology as. In which case, I guess my video is uh, besides the point entirely. Uh, but I was just interested in that. Anyways, uh, good stuff. I enjoy all your videos. And I'll see you guys all later. Church of Estia, few out.